Test, test. Big trick trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's Big trick trivia time. And we'll feel it all right. Okay, come on, let's Hello, what's up everybody? Happy Thursday! Welcome to another edition of Trivia with Begatrix Entertainment. Sorry, I just completely lost everything I was saying, even though it was the first sentence of the night. My name is Ali with Begatrix Entertainment. If this is your first time playing Trivia, make sure that in addition to having this YouTube video up, you do join the online game here on YouTube. You will hear and see me ask the questions, but in order to actually play and participate, have your answers graded, you do need to join the online game. It's very simple. Open up any internet browser, go to online.begatrix.com. It'll ask you for a code. Once it does, just put in the code TRIX3. TRIX3, it's very simple. Once you've done that, it's gonna ask you for two pieces of information. It just wants a name, that could be your name or a team name, whatever you'd like. Your dog's uh, name. <laughs> your dog's name, yeah. Uh, or and then it's gonna want the state that you're playing from so I'm here in Illinois I put that in if you're not in the United States feel free to tell us what country you're playing from and once you do that hit go once you've done that you are good to go there's nothing else that you need to do once those two pieces of information are entered and you see that the game will begin shortly here on your screen you're all set so while you do that and while we wait for a few more people to join I do see this uh, count here is still ticking up so thank you all for being here I will tell you what we still have coming up this week, a little bit more about how the game works. So again, my name is Holly with Bigatrix Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here. We're gonna play some general knowledge trivia here in just a few minutes. And then tonight at nine o'clock, so not long after this, we'll be doing Marvel Cinematic Universe trivia, MCU trivia. So stick around for that. Even if you're not a huge fan of the MCU, you can have fun. It's free to play. Um, there is a prize up for grabs uh, to the first top uh, participant of each game tonight ten dollar prize compliments of Bathetrix entertainment so again even if you're not the best at these games you can still have some fun in the live chat on youtube you can see the box here or down the, i don't know it's around on youtube uh, gina my fiance is there in the comments and i know a lot of you always have a lot of fun in the chat so hang out with us now and tonight at nine and then tomorrow at 7 30 we have a fundraiser for the elmhurst walk-in assistance network incredible organization we're going to be raising funds to help them out right now it's a general knowledge trivia night the only difference is you do have to purchase a ticket so make sure you check that out all the information is in the facebook event for that uh, that's 7 30 tomorrow tonight's games are free but we do accept any and all donations or tips you'd like to send thank you so much to those of you that have already sent those you can see the links down here below me venmo paypal and zell any or all of those are perfectly acceptable um, if you feel so compelled to send anything. Thank you so much to those of you, again, that already have, especially our donation drawing winner for tonight, Lindsay, who got to choose all of tonight's question categories because she donated last week. We chose her name out of everyone that donated, and she got to choose our categories. That could be you next week. We choose one person each week that's donated, and if we select you, you get to choose the categories for one of next week's events. 
So, with all of that said, again, this game is free to play. That's optional. And thank you to everybody that supports Bacon Tricks in, in many other ways. Liking the page, sharing the post, commenting, all that fun stuff. Um, anything to add over there, Gina? Mm. Probably my favorite this weekend. Mm. If you haven't joined the Bacon Tricks online community, that's a fun group on Facebook. It is free. What? Your green straw. Hold oh, it disappears. Yeah. Oh, that's freaky. Cool. Uh, if you haven't joined the Begatrix online community, do that. Um, it's free. Uh, it's just a fun little group we have on Facebook. A lot of friends have been made through that, and that's the only way you can find out about our secret Begatrix After Dark Zoom events that we do. Um, we didn't do one last week, so this week will be extra fun. Um, no promises, but I'll try. Uh, but we will do one this weekend, so watch out for that. Here is Taco. He's hanging out. Oh, I'm sure. All right, sorry for the interruption. I felt like a hat. All right, so we're back. We're ready to go. If you haven't played trivia before, once again, do make sure you join the online game. The link is down at the bottom of the screen, online.bigatricks.com. Enter in the code TRICKS3. I'll tell you how the game works here in just a second, but a quick reminder, we do have a prize up for grabs tonight, $10 uh, to the top participant at the end of the game. Because of that, please, 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 my friends, keep it fair. Don't Google, don't cheat, don't look these answers up. Uh, honestly, it's that's just scummy. Don't do it. Be honest, be fair and fun. Uh, we do have a prize on the line, but before we get to that, we have to play the game. And to do that, make sure you're logged into this game here. You've given your name, the place that you're playing from, uh, how it's gonna work. We have a mixture tonight of multiple choice questions and questions that you have to type the answers in all on your own. So we're gonna start with the multiple choice questions to ease you into it. And what that means is I'll ask a question, I'll start your timer because every question has a 30 second timer. Once the timer starts, for the multiple choice questions, you'll see four options appear on your screen. It's always A, B, C, and D. One of those is always the correct answer. All you have to do, if you're on your phone, just click it. You touch screen phone. If you're on the computer, click it with the mouse. It's either A, B, C, or D. You don't lose points if you're wrong, so at least take a guess. Um, you can earn up to 150 points up to 150 points if you're correct. I say up to 150 points because the point value decreases as the timer decreases. So the quicker you answer, the more points you earn, the longer it takes, the less points you earn. But be careful because if you click, oh, look at that squirrel. Don't eat my strawberries. Oh my gosh, go away. <laughs> uh, uh, if you click an answer, you can't change it. So if you click A and then you realize, oh shoot, I meant B, can't go back and change it so make sure you at least take enough time to look at the answers but then click as quickly as you can once you know it um, that's pretty much it I'm not gonna go into more detail because we're gonna do a practice question in a second here anyway so if you're still not sure how it works you're gonna find out um, other than that let me just say some hellos to the chat here uh, hey Lindsay welcome glad you're here especially hope you enjoy these categories you chose hey Jess and I imagine John happy Thursday hey Alvin Hey, Jen's husband, Sterna, ready to get the first question wrong. Oh, no, I hope you know my name. Hey, Missy e. D, long time no see. Uh, you might have been here, but I haven't seen that name. And Brad, welcome, my friend. Uh, John's been doing the tech. Yep, yep, yep. Lindsay, hey, Bobby K. Why, hello, friends. A whole numero dos, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, who else is here? Hey, Amy, and probably Bella. Kim Wheatley, welcome back. Uh, Bobby, uh, Kate just said, OMG squirrel. And I realized that to anybody watching, I was probably very much like um, Doug the dog in Up. Squirrel. squirrel. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I felt like. Uh, but he was probably three feet away from me, just staring, threatening to eat my food. That asshole's back. Look, right in the same spot. Oh, he's not afraid anymore. Oh, he's not afraid anymore. Oh, he's kind of cute. Yeah, he's cute. You can stay. Um, anyway, sorry, guys. This is... This is not a professional production here. This is our dining room table. So we're glad you're joining us. Uh, here we go. First question coming up. What is the name of your host tonight? That's me. What is my name? This is always the practice question. Not worth any points, so no pressure. There's going to be four options. Just click the one you believe is correct. What is the name of your host tonight? Is my name Isaac, Zach, Ollie, or Taylor? What is my name? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. 
Holly, the lost Hanson brother. If only. If only. I always wanted to be a member of Hanson. Hanson would be offended at the boy band label. Probably, but it doesn't make them any less of a boy band. I mean, they are three boys in a band. Which word, boy band or family band? Ooh, family boy band. Mm, true. Uh, hey, Lindsay's sister. Welcome, Kelsey. Maggie and Addison. Welcome. All right, let's see how we answered this one. Six of you said Zach. Uh, so good job at guessing my favorite Hanson brother. Um, had the drum and chops at the age of 11. Uh, but the correct answer, my name is Ali. Good job. This one not worth any points, so no worries if you wrote one of the Hanson brothers. That's okay. Here we go. Now these start counting for points. Again, the points will decrease the longer it takes you to answer, so get your answers in as quickly as possible. Uh, quick reminder, uh, all of tonight's questions come from, for the most part, these uh, categories, we have the Green Bay Packers, boy bands, Chris Evans movies, British literature, Ireland, Sherlock, The Office, The Big Bang Theory, Survivor, and Disney Channel original movies. So you'll see a little bit of each of those in here tonight. Here we go. Question two. How many seasons of the U.S. version of The Office were released in all? In total, by the end, how many seasons of the U.S. version of The Office were there? Was it 10, 8, 9, or 11? Ooh, Jess, I remember playing instruments being the perceived dividing line. Fair enough. Fair enough. I still haven't counted as a boy band for tonight. Uh, okay. Let's see how you guys did. Two of you said 10 seasons. Eight of you said eight seasons. That's enough. That's fun. Uh, 25 of you said nine seasons. And 11, three of you said 11 seasons. Correct answer is there were nine seasons. Nine seasons of the US version of The Office. Great job. Question number three. Still producing today, what family brewed its first stout in Dublin, Ireland way back in 1759? Still in production today, what family brewed its first stout in Dublin, Ireland back in 1759? Was it Guinness, Kilkenny, Stella Artois, or Smithwick's? Whoop. Maggie Webb. You got a new job? Congratulations, where at? Sometimes I forget. I'm on the, hey, a Toto Madre, what a great place. You know anybody there? Ah. Correct answer is a social, Guinness. Guinness, great job, 93% of you got this. Great job, everybody, cheers. That's so exciting, I'm sure that's a great company to work for too. Yeah, Yay. oh yeah, I've never heard a bad thing. That's a fantastic place. Oh my place. God, their food. My mouth is watering <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> all right, all right, slow start tonight. I apologize to everybody, we'll get on this train. Here we go, question four, in what Disney Channel original movie. Could you watch the Soul Skaters battle Team X-Blades? Is it Brink, Smart House, Alley Cat Strike, or The Other Me? That Mickey gif. Mickey. All right, everybody's in. You guys went uh, between two answers. 
31 of you said Brink. 10 of you said Alley Cat Strike. A young Kaylee Cuoco in Alley Cat Strike. Uh, yeah, but the correct answer here is Brink. Brink, we just rewatched this uh, like last month. It's interesting. Uh, good job. 31. It holds up. Yeah, it holds up just fine. It's as good now as it was then. Let's say that. Question five. Who was the winner of the first season of Survivor back in the year 2000? Who was the winner of the first season of Survivor? Was it Kelly Wigglesworth, Rudy Besh, Richard Hatch, or Susan Hawk? How do they do it on Conan? In the year 2000. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's any strawberries to it's eat. It's like circus squirrel eggs. Is he dump jumping onto the bird feeder? Yeah, he's like doing aerobatics. Aerobatics? Acrobatics? Acrobatics? Hmm. Circus at least I have to make it. Oh, gosh. Everybody's in, and we're about to social to the individual who spent a lot of the season naked. Richard Hatch. Richard Hatch. Great job. Uh, 37 of you got that right. 90% of you. Cheers, everybody. Amy had a great idea. Squirrel cam. I'm about to try it when we do the oh, results. Oh, and Bobby said I need to see what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to try it when we do the results if he's still there. All right, that's question five. So speaking of that, we are going to do the results right now. <laughs> Here we go. Currently in first place, the Baileys. In second, Team Cream. In third, these are a few of my favorite things. Everybody else is going to rotate through, so take a look. See where you're at. Is he out there? Yeah, he's standing right there. All right, let me see if I can get hit this guy with the taco cam. Sorry, taco. Well, he was playing on the, the herb garden, and then he was jumping onto the bird feeder over there, back and forth. I don't know if you can see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh, he's coming back. No, he's gone. He's on the tree. Oh. No, he's right there. Look. Oh. There's another guy. Hang on, guys. I'm having fun with this. <laughs> You're pointed at the birdhouse right now. Oh, too far. Uh -oh. There you can see him. Hold it still. <laughs> there he is. Oh, what a guy. <laughs> so this is what I'm looking at while I'm sitting here. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, he's scared. He's camera shy. Wait. I know we have trivia to play, everybody. Don't worry. This is what you signed up for. <laughs> This is Vegatrix Entertainment. I need to look at all the team names. Oh, now you can feel like Homer on The Simpsons. That little, the little ninja guy, he knew he was going to do something, and as soon as he looked away, Sorry. no, it's too late. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> you missed the jump. Oh, oh, damn it. Sorry, everybody. All right, all right, let's move on. Sorry to anybody that's getting motion Squirrel's sickness. Squirrel's gone wild. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Taco looks shook it. All right, I need to see these team names. He just did it again. He's back on the bird feeder. All right, everybody. Sorry about that. I'm not sorry at all, actually. Let me take that back. Here we go. Question six. Who played the character of Dwight? On the U.S. version of The Office, I guess he's only Dwight in the U.S. version. Who played the character you're seeing here? What is the name of the actor who played Dwight? Was it John Krasinski, B.J. Novak, Steve Carell, or Rain Wilson? Bobby F. Trivia, now I'm here for the squirrels. Oh, they had a lunch date with Sam and Silo. Oh. What a cute baby. And what a great mommy. All right, hey, everybody in. This is gonna be a social. A couple of you said BJ Novak, that is Ryan on The Office. Uh, but the correct answer is Rain with two N's, Wilson. Cheers, everybody. Question seven. In which Shakespeare play would you find the quote, alas, 
poor Yorick? Alas, poor Yorick would be in which Shakespeare play? As you like it, Macbeth, Othello, or Hamlet? Move over, Taco. There's a new star here. Oh, my God. F trivia now. Here from school. Thank you, Bobby. Ooh, Lindsay. I see the sibling. Oh, my God. Gina will post some picture. Did. Oh, she already did. All right, let's see how you guys answered. You did well overall. 11 of you said Macbeth. A couple of four each said As You Like It and Othello. But 25 of you correctly said Hamlet. Good job. A little bit of British literature here. Um, question number eight. What Green Bay Packers quarterback holds the team record for the most passing yards in a season? Which Green Bay Packers quarterback holds the team record for the most passing yards in a single season? Is it Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, Lynn Dickey, or Bart Starr? All right, everybody's in. So two of you said Bart Starr. 13 of you said Aaron Rodgers. 29 of you said Brett Favre. Uh, nobody said Lynn Dickey, which is interesting. Obviously, I don't think he's one of the most popular, but Lynn Dickey holds the second, the, the, re the record for the second most yards in one season. Oh, by Taco. Uh, second most yards in one season is Lynn Dickey. The other four positions in the top five, including number one, is held by Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Brett Favre uh, was uh, obviously just a uh, franchise QB forever. He holds the most passing yards for the team uh, in, in total. Uh, Brett Favre has the most with 61,655 yards. Uh, so he's the all-time passing leader. But Aaron Rodgers had the most single-season passing yards. So good job, the 13 of you that got that. A lot of explanation for a guy who doesn't watch sports. But I really studied. Like I trivia. studied that question. Question nine. According to tradition, which creatures did Saint Patrick drive out of Ireland? According to tradition, which creatures did Saint Patrick drive out of Ireland? Was it lions, snakes, <laughs> elephants, or rats? All right, everybody's, sorry about that. Um, I will argue I've never seen an elephant in Ireland, uh, but the correct answer, according to tradition, a, a double social, a double social. Uh, snakes, according to the, the, the tradition of the tale, St. Patrick drove the snakes out of Ireland. So cheers, everybody. That's a two drink social, sociable. Here we go, two more multiple choice questions. Number 10. Which of these is the London address of Sherlock? Which of these is the London address of Sherlock? Famous address of Sherlock. Is it 221B Baker Street, 186 Fleet Street, 10 Downing Street, or 331B Baker Street?
right, you guys did well. Uh, not many people said 186 Fleet Street or 10 Downing Street. 12%, five people said 331B Baker Street. Same building, wrong unit. It is 221B Baker Street. 221B Baker Street. Uh, so good job, the 35 of you that got that. Here we go, question 11. I don't know why the picture, oh, the picture is there. Okay, good. Which band provided the opening theme song for the show Big Bang Theory? Which band gave us the theme song for the show Big Bang Theory? Was it? Bare Naked Ladies, Gin Blossoms, Blues Traveler, or the Rembrandts? They built the pyramids. We have a robin, a pigeon, two squirrels within spitting distance. And I see the baby bunny. The baby bunny? Yeah. <laughs> Regular zoo in our backyard. I love the baby bunny. Fabra. Did you build that bird feeder? Not this bird feeder, Jen, but I did build a tomato cage today. <laughs> I'll post a picture for y'all. You could build that bird feeder, though. That was the one I designed my bird house off of. Yeah. I just didn't make it a feeder. I needed to give them a place to live. Uh, the correct answer, that's a social. Bare naked ladies. Let's social to bare naked ladies. Cheers, everybody. Rembrandt's did the Friends theme song. You know, it was originally... Uh, they were going to use the song by R.E.M., Shiny Happy People, and that was going to be the name of Friends, Shiny Happy oh, People. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they changed the name, changed the song. Um, also, they slowed the song down a little bit for the theme. Oh, anyway, that's question 11. That's the last multiple choice question, so let's take a look at the standings before we move into the bonus round. I'm going to put these up on the screen for you. Cookies and Cream is tied with exactly 14, 14 points uh, with Cream of Wheat. And uh oh, we have another Cream oh, yeah. Knife. Uh, these are a few of my favorite things. I'm guessing that's Lin That's got to be Lindsay, right? These are a few of my favorite things. That's a great team name if it is. I mean, whoever it is, but if it's Lindsay, that's perfect. She said she forgot to include one of her favorite movies as a theme, so she used it as a team name. So, yes. Uh, that's the sound of music. These are a few yeah. of my favorite things. Listen, I just wanted to make sure. All right. Let me take a look at some of these team names. I can get to see them. Hey, Albin, Lazy Housewives, here for the right reasons. Love it. Quizards of Waverly Place, welcome back. Uh, he's always effing here, quarantining <laughs> with the hubs. A poo, poo and a pee pee, what's up? And the spicy meat, the balls, I see you out there. Fallout Cat, I love that. Don't do beans wrong. <laughs> uh, I saw the Angelica's out there. It's like thunder, lightning. I wanna go fast. I think I know who that is. Uh, may I see your manager, and Jen Widener. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sarge, Jeremy, and Bree, welcome. Married in four weeks. Congrats. Uh, Claudia Kishi's Fashion. What's that from? Kishi. Kishi. Is that from Babysitter's Club? I'm going to buy my first Babysitter's Club. Somebody sent a donation last night and said, Brawley's first Babysitter's Club book. Uh, so when it is earmarked like that, I always do take those donations and, and do what you asked. So I'll be getting... I will be getting my first Babysitter's Club book soon. Uh, all right, so questions are about to change, my friends. They will still be multiple choice, um, actually. Uh, the next round is a mini bonus round, and I think I left this as multiple choice tonight. Let me just double check. Yep, okay, so the next five questions are a mini bonus round, which means they're all the same um, category, but they're all different questions, different answers. And usually we switch over to text right now, but we're gonna leave this as uh, multiple choice. For the next five questions, I'm going to give you a, a popular, a famous boy band song lyric. I'm going to give you a boy band song lyric you don't have to tell me the song you're just going to have to identify the band that said those words um so some of these i think will be simple um i i think it would have been a little bit tough um for anybody who didn't love boy bands um without multiple choice so i did this as multiple choice so you still have a one in four shot you can still guess this is still a decreasing points so get the answers in as quickly as you can 
So here we go. Uh, before we do, thank you, Addison, for the donation. Thank you so much. I just saw that come through. Mm. We appreciate it. Welcome back. All right. Question 12. Name the boy band that gave us these lyrics. You don't have to think twice. I will love you still from the depths of my soul. It's beyond my control. I've waited so long to say this to you. Was it Backstreet Boys, In Sync, 98 Degrees, or BB Mac? see it for all five questions what was oh I almost just gave something away uh, now that I can say it, what was Drew Lachey's brother's name Nick no Nick was the famous one and Drew was his brother right yeah uh, Nick most was married to Jessica Chastain. yeah uh, Nick's still doing stuff too um, the correct answer here is 98 degrees from I do parentheses cherish you <laughs> Gina loves that song. All right, question 13. Same type of question, different lyrics. What boy band gave us these lyrics? Now throw your hands up in the air. Wave them around like you just don't care. If you want to party, let me hear you yell because we got it going on again. Is it New Edition, The Backstreet Boys, In Sync, or O Town? Drew is the one who had to hide an ear underneath the baseball hat because he thought it looked cool. Oh my God. Oh, I'm missing so many comments. You guys are so great. Oh, Thank Al. You. Alvin went to the Elmhurst Brewing Company yesterday. Yeah, We're there tonight. We have a uh, Friends trivia. Mm -hmm. No, The Office. The Office trivia tonight. 98 degrees a couple years ago, they were the same outfits. Ooh, this one tougher according to your answers. Uh, eight of you said New Edition, six each said In Sync and O Town. Uh, but 24 of you correctly said The Backstreet Boys. We got it going on. Uh, the Backstreet Boys, good job. Number 14, which uh, boy band, if you will, gave us these lyrics. Get loose, everybody, because we're going to do our thing. Because you know it ain't over. Till the fat lady sings. Was that boys to men, in sync, new kids on the block, or together? Everybody's in. Uh, oh, again, spread out. Seven people said boys, two men. Nine people said in sync. Six people said together. My personal favorite boy band. Uh, 23 people said NKOTB, which is correct. This is from Hangin' Tough. Good job, 23 of you. That was a tough round. I'm loving it. All right, question 15. Name the band that gave us these lyrics. Plant a seed, plant a flower, plant a rose. You can plant any one of those keep planting to find out which one grows it's a secret no one knows was that lfo hansen one direction or in sync this is the only one i know really because of you because <laughs> becky's unfamiliar with together yeah uh, they're, they're very good. Amy, Ollie, you should sing this when you read them. No, that would not be entertainment. That would be great. Together had an MTV movie, Kelsey, and then it became an MTV TV show, a la MASH was a movie and then became a TV show because it was so popular. Um, uh, Chris Farley's brother was in Together, Kevin Farley. Um, he was, oh, the, I forgot yeah, he was the older brother yeah. one. They, they, it was a great satirical take on boy bands at the height of boy band popularity. Um, it was just, oh yeah, yeah, the youngest. That's the reason they stopped the show because the youngest member passed away, unfortunately, of cancer. Um, but incredible, just 
if, if you like That's satire, funny. if and they they all had great voices. That's the thing. Their songs actually got popular, uh, but not uh, here. Here we are talking about Hanson. This is from the incredible mm Bop. Plant a seed, plant a flower, plant a rose. You can plant any one of those. Uh, Hanson, the correct answer. Good job. Uh, moving on. This is the final boy band question. Name the boy band that gave us these lyrics. When I can't sleep at night without holding you tight, girl, each time I try, I just break down and cry. Pain in my head. Oh, I'd rather be dead. Spinning around and around. Is it the Jonas Brothers, In Sync, One Direction, or Boys to Men? So true story, this song I did in a lip sync battle at uh, Mullins in Lyle. Uh, I don't know why I chose this song, but I really enjoyed doing it. Uh, it was not the Jonas Brothers, although 12 of you thought that. Five of you said in sync, nine of you said One Direction, 19 of you said Boys to Men, featuring Ali in the lip sync battle. It was Boys to Men. Boys to Men, good job. That's end of the road. Uh, that's the end of the road for this boy band lyric round. So let's take a look at the standings. Let's see what might have changed. These were tough questions. Uh, the Angelica is Eliza. I didn't see everything there. In first, Cookies and Cream in second, Cream of Wheaton in third. Everybody else is rotating through. Take a look. See where you're at. I didn't get that the first time that was their team name because I hadn't seen Hamilton yet. But now I love it. Do you want to watch Hamilton tonight? Yes. All right. Keep watching those scores. Hey, Jen Sterna in seventh. Team Cream in eighth. Another Team Cream. Don't do beans wrong in 13th. Steffi Star. Here for the right reasons. All right. So things are going to change here. We no longer will have multiple choice answers. But the next five questions will all still come from one category. This is actually going to be a picture round. This is going to be a picture round. So I'm going to ask you five separate questions, all from the same category. Each one is going to be based on the picture that you're seeing. Get ready, everybody. This picture round, I'm going to ask you to name the Chris Evans movie. So you get to see five pictures of Chris Evans. Uh, each one is a different Chris Evans movie. I tried not to go too deep. Um, I tried not to do anything that, you know, bombed at the box office. I'm not trying to be super tricky here, but these are five separate movies featuring Chris Evans. So I'll show you one at a time. I'll show you the picture, start your timer. You have 30 seconds and now you have to type in your answer. You no longer will have multiple choice answers. So I've increased the point value up to 250 points and you don't lose points the longer it takes you to answer. So take your time, type as well as you can, try to spell everything correctly. Uh, here we go. First Chris Evans movie. Some of these easy, some of these tough. What Chris Evans movie are we looking at here? Lindsay Switzer said, I don't even, I don't even know Evans. who Chris Evans is. <laughs> and Lindsay is a disown. Um, is Hamilton just like an American thing, Bobby. Yes, at its core, Hamilton is an American thing. Uh, it's about the founding, founding fathers of America. But if you like musicals, it's incredible. Um, I would say watch it once, if you, especially if you have Disney Plus, watch it, check it out. Um, you don't have to be from America to appreciate it, if that's what you're asking. I think you could like the musical just as much as you don't have to be from France to appreciate Les Mis, eh? right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I would check it out. Uh, Maggie, not as slow as I was to say, watch it in all caps. All right, let's see what you guys thought. This was, in fact, somebody said Bay, uh, not One Fire, not X-Men. This was Fantastic Four. 
Fantastic Four. So long before, not super long, but long before he became um, the, the central role uh, of the Marvel franchise, if you will, he was Johnny Storm in Fantastic Four. Um, not as well received as what he would do later. All right. If that one was tough, you're not going to enjoy this round. Question 18. Name this Chris Evans movie from the screenshot. What is the name of this movie? You know this one? Amy, I'm going to use the same answer for all the rounds. <laughs> yes, oh. that's a good try. Bobby, I was just worried I wouldn't really know. That no, no. Matter. Oh, yeah, that doesn't matter at all. Not at all. But I do, what Becky said, I would watch it with the closed captioning. It yeah, so quickly. it's super quick. It's actually renowned for the amount of words that they fit. Somebody, they did a little, I, I don't know. Somebody said if you, if you slowed down the songs to the speed of a regular Broadway musical, Hamilton would be somewhere between four to six hours long. That's how quickly they sing. So it's, it's more rapping than singing throughout a lot of it. Um, and it's just incredible. So I would absolutely watch it. But yes, I would take that advice. Disney Plus, turn it on with the captions. It'll help you keep track of everyone. Yeah. You won't be lost or anything, like, not knowing. Yeah, no. Know. You don't need to know that at all. All right. You guys did very well. Somebody said Chris Evans goes, goes to school. Um, the correct answer, not another teen movie. Not another teen movie. A little bit older there. All right. Question 19. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. If that helps you or not, probably not. Uh, but this is one of my favorite movies. What is this movie that Chris Evans was in? Uh, I would say the hair in the foreground, foreground of the picture should be a clue. Love this movie. One so of my favorite. Oh, that's what I said. One of my favorite movies. Oh, sorry. No, that's okay. Just say that. Yeah, there is a clue in the picture. Uh, other than Chris Evans, if you look at that hair in the foreground. Her hair, uh, she had hair like this. Forget Hamilton, let's watch this tonight. Let's watch both tonight. I have to work in the morning. <laughs> All right, everybody in, and you guys did very well. Um, I just have to mark a bunch of these correct because you just spelled it differently. Not kick ass, great guess. You, he doesn't look very good in this picture. I think he was supposed to look kind of sleazy. Um, he's got that chin strap going on. Uh, but the correct answer is Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Hey, thanks, Alvin. Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Love it. All right, question 20. This one, critically acclaimed. Name the Chris Evans movie from this screenshot. I have not seen this movie. We could watch it. It's on Hulu, I believe. It was on Netflix. Maybe it's still on Netflix. Uh, Maggie, Addison saw Hamilton today for the first time? Or, well, I guess, un yeah, unless she saw it in person or. What did she think? Yes. All right. Uh, a lot of you got this. Again, just some spelled it wrong. Don't know, but I'd like to see it. Absolutely. Um, so, this one, I don't want to say it wrong. Um, this is Snowpiercer. This is Snowpiercer. Uh, it's a crazy dystopian future type of movie. Um, and it's actually, if you saw Parasite and you liked Parasite, I'm pretty sure this is by Bong Joon-ho, um, the same individual who did Parasite. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic film. Um, and actually, tying it back into Hamilton, I think they made Snowpiercer into a TV show, uh, a limited series or a TV show. Uh, what's the guy who played um, Lafayette oh, about that in, in Hamilton? Yeah, David Diggs, yeah. I believe, is in the Snowpiercer TV show adaptation. Um, so there you go. Yeah. Another tie-in. Uh, final picture round question. What is this Chris Evans movie? Uh, 
Jeremy has to drink every time. Fantastic. David Diggs, baby, yes. Ooh, everybody. I always forget that there are so many people out there that just know this stuff. I sit here and Google it. I could just say it and you guys answer. I love it. Oh, and Missy said it way back before I even mentioned it. Thanks, mm -hmm. Missy. Oh, and I didn't know it was starring David Diggs either. I do want to check it out. Maggie expect could not tear her away except for explaining things. That's good. It's nice to have it available. You can pause it and discuss. Yeah, it. and it gets you asking. It gets her asking questions, and she's learning. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, lenient on this one, just so everybody knows. You don't have to give me the subtitle. Um, this one is, and that's a social. This is Captain America. This is Captain America. The, I mean, I know everybody loves this movie, but him as a tiny little guy, the CGI is just not great. This picture is a great example. Um, but Captain America is the right answer, so cheers, everybody. That's a social. Um, a couple that came up throughout here, The Losers is a Chris Evans movie. If you haven't seen it, that's just a fun, you know, shoot em up movie. Uh, Knives Out, if you haven't seen it, is a fantastic whodunit, uh, and you can rent oh, that online now. Yeah, we saw that. that was good. Uh, before everything COVID went down, I heard that they had secured they were going to take uh, that into a series of films. Oh, I think it might still eventually be that. Yeah, I hope so. All right, so let's take a look at the standings, and then we'll get into the final round of questions. Here we go. The Angelicas, Eliza and Peggy in first still. Cookies and Cream in second, still just right ahead of Cream of Wheaton in third. Everybody else... Keep watching, see where you're at. Let's take a look at Taco. Explaining cheating was awkward. Oh God, I can't imagine. What's your number, Lindsay? I saw that on there. I didn't, uh, I, I looked up the whole list of movies. Uh, there, I think that might be the one when I Googled it, the, the screenshot of him he was like almost, he was naked. He was just holding a pillow in front of himself. I almost did that one. I almost did that one. Yeah, that's sweater. That's sweater. <laughs> Nothing I've ever seen, but it was amazing. Yes, he had just finished filming Captain America in incredible shape. Yeah, on your left. All right, 10 questions left, my friends. And these are completely random. They come from anything and everything. Um, just a quick reminder before we do this, if you're into all the Marvel talk that we have going on, we do have Marvel Cinematic Universe trivia tonight at 9. So just about an hour after we finish this, you'll have plenty more opportunities to see pictures of Chris Evans. We'll be having some fun, so join us then. Uh, but before that, let's finish this one with 10 more questions. You do have to type the answers in, but they're random. No, no connections here other than they're all from categories that Lindsay chose. So here we go. Question number 22. The Green Bay Packers won the very first Super Bowl ever. What year did that win take place? You can only answer with numbers here. So what year was the very first Super Bowl that the Green Bay Packers won? They actually won the first and the second, uh, two in a row. That wasn't done again until the Dolphins did it about 10 years later. Um, but let's see how many people know the year of the first Super Bowl. This question um, dedicated to Jess and John Angelica. First of all, how dare you? Isn't that your favorite office line? I have a question. First of all, how dare you? Yes, that is my favorite. Because Mindy is my queen. Uh, Mindy is queen. All right, everybody's in. Correct answer. You got this if you put all four digits or just two. Um, don't worry. Correct answer is 1967. January of 1967. Packers won that very first Super Bowl. Good job. All right, question 23. I'm looking for a first and last name here. First and last name. What British comedian is the star and co-creator of the original UK version of The Office? What British comedian is the star and co-creator 
of the original UK version of the TV show The Office. Uh, Maggie, yeah, you. I think you're talking about Chris Pine Butt. Chris Pine Butt in Wonder Woman. Also a few. Also a few. A lot of cute Chris's out there. All right, everybody's in. I'm obviously going to mark a lot of these misspellings right. Not Rowan Atkinson, good guess, Mr. Bean. Uh, the correct answer here is Ricky Gervais. You love him or you hate him? Ricky Gervais, atheist guy. Yes, that's correct. Ricky Gervais, the correct answer. All right, question 24. Good job. I didn't say this, but half of, over half of you got that, right? Question 24. In which Charles Dickens novel would you find Abel Magwitch? Which Charles Dickens novel would you find Abel Magwitch? drinky when I first let Addison see it, so she saw everything. Oh, can't blame you. All right, everybody's in. Uh, most everybody did put Charles Dickens novels, at least. Uh, not a Christmas Carol, the only one I knew. Yeah, uh, it was Great Expectations. Great Expectations. Correct answer. Good job. 18 of you got that right. All right, question 25 called the king of sitcoms during the 2010s. Who has created and produced sitcoms including Grace Under Fire, Dharma and Greg, Two and a Half Men, and The Big Bang Theory? Which individual created or co-created Grace Under Fire, Dharma and Greg, Two and a Half Men, and The Big Bang Theory, among others? I totally forgot about Grace Under Fire. I used to watch that. Weird. Oh, really? Yeah, my mom used to watch that. Sarah! I, yeah, I've noticed you hadn't been here. Welcome back. Yeah, there's a few people who we haven't seen in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, things are definitely, a it's a weird time. We're we're hosting trivia back live, and people we're still doing this work. online. Yeah, people are back to work. Um, so I'm happy, you know, to see so many of you back. Sarah, welcome back. Maggie, welcome back. And it's okay if you suck, Sarah. You just got to get got to get back in the groove. Oh, you moved. Did you move far? You, obviously, I'm not asking where you live, but you still... still <laughs> tell us your address. Yeah, tell us your address in the comments. <laughs> uh, everybody's in. Let's see how you spelled here. Ooh, not Judd Apatow. Love his stuff, though. Not Mike Judge. Also love his stuff. Uh, the correct answer is Chuck Lorre. Chuck Lorre, the correct answer. Good job, 68% of you got that right. And that's question 25, so let's take a look at the standings. The Angelicas, even with a sports question, still in first. Cream of Wheaton in second, Cookies and Cream in third. Everybody else, take a look, see where you're at. We just have one final run of questions here in a second. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, I love it. Chicago, Sarah, congratulations. I'm going to have a stern talk with New Work about my trivia schedule. Yeah. Yes, Maggie. Let them know Send your, your weekly yeah. schedule. priorities, okay? Priorities. Hey, thanks, Rebecca, for the donation. Earmarked for photos of Chris Evans. <laughs> thanks, Rebecca. Appreciate it. Really do. Every donation you guys send really means a lot. It goes a long way. I love seeing you on Venmo. Oh, yeah, right? All right, here we go. Just six questions left. A lot of points up for grabs, though. So. Question 26, portrayed by Andrew Scott in the BBC series. What is the name of one of Sherlock's main recurring enemies? 
portrayed by Andrew Scott in the BBC series. What is the name of one of Sherlock's main recurring enemies? showing you. Yeah. I'm not that rude. Thank you. Not hot priest. <laughs> uh, the correct answer here. Lots of different ways you spelled it. I'm just looking for the last name, what he's known by. Moriarty. Moriarty. We can actually call a social on that. 78% of you got that right. That, yeah, that's, I believe there's somebody else, but Moriarty is the one portrayed oh. by Andrew Scott. Arch nemesis, if you will. Good job. Question 27. This one, not on your category list, but I know you like them. Patrick Stump is the lead singer of which Chicagoland-based band formed back in 2001? Oh, whoops. Just pop that out. Patrick Stump is the lead singer of which Chicagoland-based band formed in 2001? <laughs> I realized that um, the gift that I had in there just had the answer right there. I took it out. Uh, it just got a donation. From Jen Sterna, thank you so much. Um, asking for good place trivia. So I think we can make that happen. That is not the first time people have asked for it. Um, I know Stephanie would be very happy if we did good place trivia. Yeah, and that gives that. me a, re a reason to rewatch it. And I love that show. Um, so, Jen, we can make that happen. We'll do good place. I'll put it on record. We'll do good place in the next three weeks. Okay. All right. Gina heard it. You heard it. You'll get good place trivia in the next three weeks. All right, let's see what you guys thought. It's not Wilco. It's not Smashing Pumpkins. It's not Plain White Tees. Tom H Higgleston? Hiddleston? What's his name? Higginson. Higginson. Uh, that is local, though. Out of Lombard, right? Was he Lombard? Villa Park. Villa Park. You know, Lombard's well, neighbor. Well, some people. But... Correct answer was Fallout Boy. Not Rush, somebody said. Yes, that's correct. Fallout Boy. Uh, Chicagoland based band formed 2001 Patrick Stump question 28 the last seven seasons from, from season 33 to season 40 that just aired the last seven seasons of the TV show Survivor have taken place on what island country hmm. all seven of the last seasons I spelled it wrong ah you know I do what I do How bad did I spell it? Oh, the band? Oh, yeah, that's okay. I thought I spelled Patrick Stump wrong. And I was like, how could I mess up Patrick Stump? Sarah said yes to Good Place Trivia. Jen, yes. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll do that. Fallout Boy with no spaces is the Simpsons character. Fallout Boy spaced is the band. Good to know. It's probably, I was stuck on that Simpsons character. That's why I used the Simpsons GIF, but it had the name right there. All right, everybody's in. Most of these answers are correct in the fact that Survivor has taken place on that island, um, but the last seven seasons have taken place on Fiji. Fiji, this is why they, they haven't called it Survivor the location. Uh, they always have a subtitle, Survivor. Mm -hmm. David versus Goliath, Survivor, yeah, you know, Brains. Versus, yeah, yeah. There's always a theme because it's all on Fiji. How boring would it be to just hear Survivor Fiji, Survivor Fiji? Um, but they're all on Fiji for the last seven seasons. They get great deals to host there. The weather's decent. Ooh, except for the one season. Remember when the guy... Never mind. Question 29. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. What 18, seven, 1877 novel was the only published work by author Anna Sewell? What 1877 novel was the only published work by Anna Sewell? Survivor 7, Fiji, New Dash. <laughs> Ooh. 
couple of you knew this right away. I thought this was going to be a tough one. Wow, man. Good job. But apparently, I'm dumb. No, stop. You don't talk like that. <laughs> Survivor 7, Fiji, the new batch. I love it. I love it. We haven't seen Taco in a while. He's out. Oh, he's awake. And... Oh, so awake. Everybody's in. Oh, Bobby Kate loves this book. Tommy, my boss at the restaurant was on Survivor. Tommy, who was your boss at the restaurant? I need to know. Yeah, you probably heard of him. Of her. Uh, wasn't Little Women, wasn't Uncle Tom's Cammon, Pollyanna Brewing, good guess. Uh, the correct answer, Taco Memoir. The correct answer is Black Beauty. Black Beauty. The only published wow, work by job, Anna though. Sewell. Yeah, a lot of, 20 of you got that. I didn't think it, it would be so well answered, so good job. Question 30. This one tougher. Considered to be the first Disney Channel original movie, what film centered around two 12-year-olds who discovered a mummy in the basement of their house that they named Harold? What is the name of what is considered to be the first Disney Channel original movie? Says Mookie Lee from Survivor Fiji, season 14. Oh, Mookie. Remember that? Yeah, it's 14. That was the season right before China. So I start, whenever I do my rewatches, I basically just start with China. So I haven't seen one through four, except Pearl Islands and All Stars. I don't think you've seen 14. We can go watch it. It's not going to be. All right, let's see how you guys did. Harold and the Hendersons? That's a fantastic guess. My Mummy Harold, Harold and Maud, the final chapter. Uh, the Olsen twins, no. Harold the Mummy, Mummy in the Basement, Wish Upon a Star, Harold and Maud. Oh, multiple people said Harold and Maud. Ooh, somebody said Harold the Mummy goes to White Castle. Now I want White Castle. Uh, the correct answer is Under Wraps. Get it? Because he's a mummy and they got to keep it secret. <laughs> oh, Justin, the Bachelorette contestant. Wait, how did this come up? Look at what Maggie said. Wait, but why? Uh, look at what she said. I had sex with bitch. I didn't see that. <laughs> Addison isn't listening. Addison isn't listening. Go up. Go up. Okay. I'll get to it. Let's do question 31. Sorry, I, my, right. my chat doesn't always show everything. Um, question 31. What Irish-American former dancer, choreographer, and musician became internationally known for Irish dance shows, including Riverdance and Lord of the Dance? Chandler on Friends was scared of this individual. What is the name of the Irish-American former dancer, choreographer, and musician that became internationally known for Irish uh, dance shows, including Riverdance and Lord of the Dance. <laughs> okay, so this is a real, real story. While you guys are answering, if you look at your chat box, yeah. you see in the top corner there's an option for live chat or top chat. Yes. Yeah. You did not have live chat. Either. I had it on top chat, gotcha. and apparently it filtered out the word sex. Oh. So all I saw was out of nowhere, Justin Reich. Yeah. That I didn't see what it said about Justin Reich. Maggie, that makes a lot <laughs> more sense. Uh, yeah, Justin Reich and I have been friends for like 10 years now. Haven't seen him in a little while. No, haven't seen him in a while. We worked at Lifetime together. That's right. There's actually one episode of a podcast that we did together. We started... Yeah, I gotta find that. 
Small world. Small world, Maggie. <laughs> that is incredible. Maggie, honestly, when you said that, I was like, oh, she's pranking Ali, because I thought for some reason you knew that he knew. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's incredible. He lived above. Yeah. Oh, I've been to his house. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, everybody. Lots of ways you've spelled this. Welcome to Begatrix Trivia Time. Uh, I'm looking mostly for the last name, so as long as you were close, I'm giving you points here. Uh, as I said, Chandler scared of him on the Friends, on the show Friends. Um, correct answer, Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. Michael Flatley. Some more Irish trivia for you. That's the final question. So we're going to look at the final standings here in just one second. Uh, if you are in first place, Please send us a message. Let us know who you are so we can get you your $10 prize courtesy of Taco. Taco sponsoring tonight's game. Um, so thank you, Taco, for doing that. Thanks, Taco. Here we go. Final standings. Guys, before we do, let me remind you, we'll be back in 53 minutes for MCU trivia. It's going to be a fun one because there will be 30 questions about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I am feeling great so we're gonna have fun we'll check in on the squirrel we'll see how he's doing um so please come back and join us even if you're not a big mcu fan uh come hang out in the the live chat which i will have turned on all right here we go final standings in first place the angelicas eliza and peggy congratulations cream of wheaton in second cookies and cream in third everybody else rotating through take a look see where you're at uh, if you are the first place team, shoot us a message. We'll get you set up. Everybody else, thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much for chatting. We always have a great time with you all. We will be back at 9 o'clock. Feel free to join us. Otherwise, please join us for our fundraiser tomorrow for the Elmhurst Walk-In Assistance Network, 7.30 p.m. Make sure you check out the Facebook event so you can get your ticket. Support a great cause. Have some fun. They have great prizes up for grabs. Prizes for first and second place tomorrow. Uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for being here. We love you all. Wash your damn hands.